For today's video, we're going to be getting some gameplay with the new Easter Egg Launcher. As you can see, it's currently available in the weekly section of the event store, and it's going to cost you 1680 Spring It On Gold. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly show you what else they're offering in the weekly section. Uh, we got an epic schematic, armory slots, legendary flux. We also got Striker AC, the epic version, an exterminator sniper, epic survivor, some evolution materials, enforcer grizzly, and axe. We also have a legendary night claw. We also have a legendary freeze trap. And there's nothing new in the event section. So that's what they're offering this week in the event store. We're actually going to go ahead and get the Easter egg launcher and try to get some gameplay with it. Let's go ahead and check out the perks that came with it. I'm curious to see what perks it has on it. Let's see, crit chance, damage, durability, crit damage, and it also causes affliction damage for six seconds and changes the damage type to energy. And in the description it says, lobs eggs that explode on contact with enemies, maximum of six eggs active at a time, does not consume ammo but has low durability. So basically this easter egg launcher lobs explosive eggs and they're going to persist on the ground which means they're going to stay on the ground and when enemies get close to one of the eggs then that egg's going to detonate after a short delay. And like it says in the description you can have a maximum of six eggs active at a time. So we're actually going to test that out in the gameplay and see how that works. I've been saving up a lot of schematic XP over the last couple of days. I'm not sure how high we can level it up, but we're going to try to level it up as high as we can and go get some gameplay with it. And another thing I wanted to point out is that the Spring It On event is going to end next Wednesday, April the 11th. So you'll have until then to finish your Spring It On quest and get any heroes that you were wanting to get from the event store. You'll have until next Wednesday, April the 11th. Now when it comes to spring it on gold, uh, the gold will not be resetting. So let's say for example that you get like 2000 spring it on gold. Uh, you're going to keep that gold after the spring it on event ends. They'll probably change the name of it to something else, but you'll be able to keep it. So yeah, that was another thing I wanted to point out. And it looks like this is going to be the highest we're going to be able to level it up. So it has a power level of 124, level 46 out of 50. Not too bad. We're close. And the loadout we're going to be using is Marine Corps Ramirez in our primary slot, mainly because she has the There Are Many Like It perk, which is going to make your weapon take 45% less durability during War Cry. In our support slot, we have Face Scout Jess to increase our movement speed. And in our tactical slot, we have Snowstalker Jonesy to increase our max grenade ammo. As of right now, I can't think of any good loadouts when it comes to using explosive weapons. If there's a certain loadout that you would recommend, let us know in the comments below. But this is the one we're going to be using for now. And I'm going to try to show off the perk that allows the eggs to persist on the ground. And we can do a total of six. So we're going to try to test that out as well. All right, let's go ahead and equip it. And we do not have that much room, so we may have to get rid of some stuff. All right, let's go. That's one. Take it down. Here we go, people. I'm going to go ahead and shoot one on the ground. Oh. Okay, so it does shoot eggs. And okay, and it explodes when they walk past it. Oh, that is nice. One down. Let's go oh. to the next one. All right, here's the second one. Take out those huts. So let's go ahead and shoot a couple of these. Oh, I like how they stay on the ground. That is awesome. Like, I'm thinking of a lot of different ways you can, like, protect either an objective or even doing encampments. Like, you can just make a line of eggs and protect yourself. So let's check out the delay if we can. It's probably like a, a half a second or a second. It didn't seem like it was too long. Yeah, not even a second, it looks like. It looks like the egg makes a little noise and beeps red. Let's look at it. So that, that'll let you know it's about to explode. And another thing I really like about this uh, egg launcher 
is that it does energy damage so it's going to be good against all elemental types you don't need to like switch out your weapons or anything and i believe this is the only rocket launcher i have that does energy damage so i'll probably end up using this one a lot so we're sort of making good time i was planning on just going for six i wasn't really trying to get like impressive gameplay or anything i was just trying to show off the new easter egg launcher i like it though i would definitely recommend getting it i'm liking it i know we have it up to like five stars so it's supposed to do a lot of damage but I would definitely recommend getting it. Alright, here comes the next wave. Let's go ahead and put up our uh, slow field. Oh yeah, this is nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it does against mist monsters though, so we're going to have to try to hurry up and get to some of these later encampments let's go ahead and take Grenade. him out i don't want to waste an Here's easter egg on encampment. him next one's looking tough you can do it all right so we're gonna go ahead and use our war cry this time going. try to uh save on some of that durability take advantage of her perks let's go ahead and use it now oh, yeah. oh. i'm just gonna spam it another thing we should have did oh oh no there's a blaster somewhere. Another thing we should have did before we started the encampment was uh, we should have shot down some eggs and had them sit on the ground. So as soon as they spawn in, uh, we could have started doing damage right away. Another good thing I like about it is that even if you miss you can still have like a total of six on the ground so like i said even if you do miss the egg will just sit there until you either go past the limit which is six or until one of the husks walk past it so you see we still got eggs laying on the ground so it's like we didn't really waste ammo even though uh, we kind of missed. I'm guessing if you want to do damage directly, you can just hit them with it. And if you don't really want your eggs to lay on the ground, you want them to do damage, then you can just hit them with it. I think we have another husky husk over here somewhere. Where is he at? Maybe he stepped on an egg. I don't know. Let's see if we can kill her all the way over there. There we go. We got her. Amazing. Get ready for more, Commander. So I think what we're going to do for this next one is we're going to shoot some eggs down on the ground. And then we'll start the encampment. Alright, so we still have 12 minutes left. And this is the uh, this is the fifth encampment. We're gonna have to be careful here. This stuff's about to get crazy. Let's go ahead and use our our. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to use the Warcraft. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I have no health. Oh my goodness, that was close. Oh man, let's get out of here. I meant to use my war cry, but for whatever reason, I pressed the wrong button. It's alright though, we didn't die, so we're good. Oh man, let's get out of here. Uh, is that all the blasters? I think that's all the blasters. Okay, let's go ahead and take these guys out. I should have shot down the egg first. See, this is going to take some getting used to here. So we're going to go ahead and shoot all these down. There we go. So when this next wave spawns in, we'll be ready. Wait. Oh, it looks like 
Looks like they exploded too soon. I don't know. We'll try it again. So it's probably not a good idea to do it before the encampment starts. I'm not sure if them spawning in uh, makes it explode. If that's the case, then maybe we'll have to place them a little further away from the encampment. So as soon as they spawn in, they don't explode. So let's try it over here. Shoot some the over here. Stay the okay, so that I think that's what happened last time. Uh, we shot on the enemy spawn, and it looks like it made the eggs explode. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to using this in like other missions and seeing what kind of situations it would work really good with. Really looking forward to trying out with other missions. Uh, where's this last one? Oh, this is the last one? Nope, we got one more. Where's he at? Where is he at? Oh, he's over here. Wait, why is he all the way over here? What? We can't leave. Don't tell me it, res it reset. Oh my goodness. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and end the gameplay here. I wouldn't necessarily say it's the best launcher. The durability perk does help the launcher last a little bit longer, but it also prevents it from doing more damage. I love how it causes affliction and does energy damage. And I also like how the eggs stay on the ground. There's no other explosive weapon that does that in Fortnite. So yeah, I'd recommend getting it. Let me know what y'all think about the Easter egg launcher in the comments below. I hope y'all found the video useful and thank you.